hello. <laughs> All right, I have been in my apartment for, excuse me, I'm filming. I have been in my apartment for five and a half days. I am not quarantined, like, I'm not on a mandatory quarantine. I'm just doing it because there's no reason that I need to be out anywhere or that I need to interact with anybody. I don't wanna get sick and even more importantly, I don't wanna get any of anybody else sick, like just in case. So I have been inside, uh, yeah, five and a half days. We're having a great time. <laughs> But we, I mean me, so last night I was just thinking to myself, obviously, maybe I should just like <laughs> document this, put it on YouTube, like I'll do a video a day because right now I'm, I need to entertain myself somehow. So that's what I'm gonna do. As you can tell, I got very dressed up for this occasion. My hair and makeup done by me as well. I am making some chicken noodle soup because like I really like it. I did get an Instacart delivery today and I got two rotisserie chickens. So we're very excited about that. And the Instacart delivery, like they just leave it at your door now. Like there's no interaction with people, which I think is very good. We don't need to spread anything anymore. And then as soon as I brought those bags inside, immediately washed my hands because that's what you should be doing. Honestly too, like I don't even know what I'm gonna be doing on, on any of these like ever because who knows like how long this is gonna be if you know me like you know that I even if I had a plan it's not gonna turn out that way so <laughs> I peeled the carrots I need to get a pot though to put them in great let's cut them so some of you may be thinking Britt how are you eating carrots thought you were allergic so here's the thing i have a so i can eat carrots if they're cooked um i can't do that for all vegetables but i can for carrots so i have this thing and it's called oral allergy syndrome it's really a pain in the ass <laughs> what happens is like my body rejects a lot of food at this point and by rejects i mean will send me into anaphylactic shock i grew into these food allergies i can't have any raw fruits or vegetables can't have any nuts there are a bunch of vegetables i can't have if they're cooked but they have to be like very cooked and the reason for this is because like molecularly of like the fruits vegetables nuts it reacts as if tree pollen or ragweed whatever the cross reaction is like my body just can't take it so as if i like took tree pollen and ate it that's how it's taking any like raw fruits vegetables and nuts so it's really 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 annoying um i have not had a salad in like 17 years at this point and honestly if i ever can get rid of this i like i'm so excited i just like want to be able to eat like raw things again and not be worried that it's gonna like you know kill me it's really freaking annoying to go out to eat so basically i have to research every restaurant that i'm gonna go to and by every restaurant this i'm acting as if i go out to eat a lot i definitely don't because it's like way too scary to go out i've had issues at restaurants obviously you need food to survive and like i can't really eat that healthy um not my <laughs> like i eat as healthy as i possibly can with like what limited food I can have and it's just like very annoying because I don't know hopefully I can go back to that at some point in my life but I don't know all right so where are we at in terms of where coronavirus is just like as a frame of reference today is I am losing track days today is Thursday March 12th so at this point Disneyland is closed now Tom Hanks and Rita Wilson have coronavirus they are in australia they there's no more nba games there's no march madness there's no baseball right now italy is still in lockdown nourishelle new york is in lockdown that's where like a bunch of my family is so shout out to my family in nourishelle hope things are going as well as they can there's no food there's no anything at, at grocery stores anymore like there's just nothing oh my god Okay, 
Let me dump some broth in. I'm not great at cooking, okay? Just a heads up. Um, I can make soup though. Whatever. I'm acting as if I like really know what I'm doing, but like I don't. Let me show you what else I've done today. I caulked this. Caulk. Oh, God, that is the worst word. Caulked this. So this messy one is actually not me. Mine is like, hang on, in there. I also have been sitting at my desk getting some work done. I just keep thinking like what a thing to see happening. The documentarian in me wants to like go out and interview people about this, but obviously that's like the worst thing to do right now and I'm not doing it. Like I'm fascinated with how people are interacting with each other online. I'm very interested in how people are dealing with this. Staying put basically not going anywhere. Being quarantined whether it's mandatory or not. And it's just very strange to like see how this is affecting every single aspect of everybody's life. Another thing that I've been thinking about tonight was that the entertainment industry is obviously like shutting down for now because nobody knows um, how long this is gonna last or who it's gonna affect or you know anything and so obviously a lot of productions are shutting down or will be shutting down I'm sure in the very very near future and so as somebody who works in this industry I know I keep saying I'm interested in things but I'm I'm interested in how this will play out because there's like no jobs being posted obviously, but that's gonna keep up for weeks, if not months. And those of us in this industry that rely on those gigs, they are not there anymore. So it's a sobering reality on that end of things, how you made your living, that's what you did every day. For most people, it's their passion and it's everything and now it's it's not it's not a thing and it's not gonna be a thing for a while it's not gonna be like a couple days it's the one good thing is that i finally have the time to write and i can't make excuses <laughs> for why i'm not writing um screenplays in this case and so there's only so much i can distract myself with now so it's like it's good so my thoughts for tonight to wrap this up before I edit it and put it up on YouTube. My sleep schedule is completely thrown off. Like yes, there's light and dark, obviously there's night and day, but there is like no concept of time at this point. So that's very interesting to me and I'm not like able to wear myself out enough during the day that at night I'm tired. Like right now it's almost 1 a.m. and I am wide awake. I'm not forcing myself to go to sleep at any specific time anymore because that's just creating like unnecessary stress in a way and so whenever I fall asleep I fall asleep and like I'm not gonna push it. Uh speaking of stress another thing is if you are feeling stressed out if you're feeling anxious and if you have a Netflix account watch Jeopardy. I'm telling you it calms me down. I've been doing this for a few years though actually whenever I feel anxiety or stress or something and I just can't get it off my mind I would put on an episode of Jeopardy because after a couple minutes I'm so in tune to getting the questions right and celebrating you know like when I get a daily double right or the final Jeopardy which I've gotten quite often let me just tell you but i think that you know put that on it will get your mind off of everything else that's going on and you will also learn something at the same time i'm just like thinking right now off the top of my head if you want to you know add to this of what you're doing at wherever you are how you're feeling whatever and you want to be added into these daily videos i'm gonna do yeah so take a horizontal video on your phone and email it to me and i'll include it because again i i want to document this as much as i can from my not being able to leave an apartment and i guess the only way that i can really do that right now is by people sending stuff to me so you know to get other people's experience of how they're dealing with this and I guess connecting us even though everybody needs to stay away from each other so I don't know um subscribe to this I will be putting up 
a video a day for as long as this is going on.